Hi, hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students. Welcome to Matibay Club. Ayan, Ma'am Tintin, so, katatapos lang nilang nakita ang Q3 grade ng ating mga basic calculus students. Oo nga, and congratulations to think the major subject nila ang basic calculus. Napakaganda ng pinakita at binigay ninyong performance. It only means one thing, Ma'am Tintin, na pinapahalagahan nila ang ating subject. Yes, and deserve na deserve ninyo kung ano man yung mga pinaghirapan ninyong grade. Yes, of course, of course sabi ko nga, Ma'am, kailangan mong pasalamatan ng iyong sarili. Uh -oh. Kasi may mga nagbe-message sa akin na, Sir, thank you so much sa inyo ni Ma'am Tintin. Dahil sa mga video discussion, malaki, ay, ma, parang madami, madami sila, sila natutunan. Uh -oh. Tapos, kaya raw sila maraming nakukuha sa exam. So, hindi yun para sa amin mga anak. Para, para sa inyo tayo. yun lahat. And sa mga medyo malungkot dyan, hindi pa po katapusan ng semester. Bawi, 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 bawi. Yes! Bawi. Ang importante nga, paulit-ulit natin sasabihin, hindi yung grades. Kung paano ka natuto at natutunan mo. Yes. Yun ang babaunin mo mga, mga anak pagdating ng araw. Uh -oh. Okay? Yung natutunan mo sa ating klase. Okay. okay! And because of that, meron tayong pa high hola module 15 because module 14 is exam. Yes, okay. module 14 exam. And module 15 is all about applying the differentiation rules in computing the derivatives ito na of inverse trigonometric functions. Uh, uh, yung kanina, kanina, hindi siya inverse. Yes, ngayon, inverse or yung kabaliktaran ng ating so, trigonometric. Magkakaroon lang yan ng negative, ng raised to the power of negative yes. 1. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> and, <laughs> we only have one objective and that is to apply the differentiation rules in computing the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. Hashtag papiok. <laughs> <laughs> Kala ko ako lang. Ayan. Ayan sabi sabi nga ni Sir Jason kanina, magkakaroon lang siya ng raise to negative 1. And we have sine raise to negative 1 u. It is equal para daw makuha ang kanyang derivative. Isa substitute natin siya kay derivative of u all over. Square root of 1 minus u squared. Is ko napaka saya na pag-aralan ng mga uh, ito. O, bahal na kayo magbasa. <laughs> <laughs> Second, raised to negative 1, u or d inverse function of u is equal to d u all over u square root of u squared minus 1. Ayan. For tan raised to negative 1, we have y. Derivative sorry, of y. Derivative of y is equal to d u all over 1 plus u squared. And for the derivative of uh, of the inverse of cosine u, that is equal to negative d u over squared 1 minus u squared. For the derivative of in of the inverse of cosecant u, we have negative d u all over u square root of u squared minus 1. And for the inverse function, tama ba ko, of or the derivative of the inverse, the inverse of, of cotangent u is equal to negative d u all over 1 plus u squared. Pero sabi ko nga mamam, ma mas maiintindihan ng ating mga anak yan kapag sinusolve na natin. May application na, yes. yes. So, so let's apply natin. those formulas, okay, using the following examples. Example, example number 1, y is equal to sine raised to the negative 1 or x squared. Ang, ang ano ma'am, ang inverse. inverse function is always raised to the power of negative 1. Yes. Kaya siya tinatawag na inverse function. First, okay, step is to get our what ma'am? U and du. Get our u and get our du. du. In this particular example, ang u natin ay ang kasama ng ating 6 trigonometric function at ito ay ang ang x squared. x uh -huh. squared. <laughs> and the derivative of x squared is obviously two x. it's 2x. At dahil alam na natin si u at alam na natin si du, kakailangan na natin si table. Okay, sign. Ito po ang ating susundan. Derivative ay derivative of inverse ano daw du Ay, all over square, square root, root of, of 1 minus u squared. squared again ang challenge dati di ba sir ang dali-dali ng topic pero mahirap i-memorize ang formula kasi marami no, pero ngayon ma'am Time management ang kailangan. Okay. Baka mamaya pag nag-exam, buklat ka ng buklat. Hindi, <laughs> <laughs> dapat sa lilis silang notebook, ma'am. Oh, may, na, na may lista na sila. What is du? 2x. 2x. Susundan lang natin yung mga anak. All over, All over square, is square root of, of 1 constant minus 1. 1 is constant. U squared, what is our u? x squared. 
x squared I squared mo pa I squared mo pa Ayan. and this is your final answer Pwede na bang final answer yan, ma'am? Yes, pwede na. Pero kung gusto mong pagandahin pa kung o papugihin pa, kung OC ka, kung gusto mo pa talagang masimplify, kagaya ng aking kakilala dyan, <laughs> pwedeng 2x all over is one. square root of 1 minus x, x squared times 2 is equal to x, x raised, raised, to, raised to the power of 4. O mas pogi nga siyang tingnan, ma'am. Ngayon, naiintindihan ko na kung bakit super luwang ng space mo. <laughs> Ayan, parang may sagot na ata. <laughs> o, yun yung bakit lang. <laughs> bakit lang. Pakadiin ng kamay mo. Example number two, why Kasi, is equal ako magmahal, to ma'am. Madiin. Oo. <laughs> Pero pag nasaktan, ma'am, mahirap din ano. Mag-heal. Mag-heal. Mm, daming alam. <laughs> daming alam. <laughs> why is equal to cosine or inverse of cosine? Tapos sa joke ko, aba, ayokong mag-joke. <laughs> X. Cube. <laughs> Kunin natin si U at saka si DU. Ang U natin ay laging kasama ni 6 trigonometric functions. We have X cube. Next, derivative ng ating U is 3X squared. Next, kunin natin ang equivalent ni, ano, taw, ano na tayo? Cosine. Ayan, ni cosine. So, we have Y prime is equal to negative D. DU all over square root of 1 minus u squared. Ayan. Na po siya. Meron na tayong u, meron na din tayong du. We can now substitute. So, we have na y prime is equal to negative. Ano yung du natin? 3x squared. All over square root of, again, 1 ay constant. Minus, ano yung u squared? Ay, ano yung u natin? We have x cubed squared. So, para masimplify siya, i-distribute natin yung kanyang square. So, we have na y prime is equal to negative 3x squared all over 1 minus x raised to 5. So, this is our final answer. Mm -mm. Yes, correct. <laughs> Oh yan, sorry oh, na kaya pala medyo hanging tayo kanina. Uh -oh. Nalutang pala ako dun na part. Oo, uh -oh. nag-worry ako eh. <laughs> Let me just clarify mga anak. Ito, ito, ito. Yan. Dito tayo, dito. Uh, balik tayo dun na mga anak ah. Ito lang, ito lang na term na to. Itong term na to. So, kapag sinulat mo yan, it is written as x, x cubed cube times, times x cubed. Cube. Cube. Tama po? Yes po. So, kapag nag-multiply ka ng ganito, ng merong exponent, ang gagawin mo sa exponent ay ah, ia-add. So, dapat ang exponent natin dito ay x raised to 6. x raised to 6. Uh, it should be 6. Ang akala mo kasi kanina, ma'am, merong x yung squared, well, kaya siya nag-x by bala siya. So, the oh. final answer is this one. 6 po dapat ang kanyang exponent. Okay. So, thank you so much for... And let's now proceed on our example number 3. y is equal to the inverse of tangent x cubed all over Oh, yes ko naman, division pa ang nais. Kukunin natin si U, D, U. U and kukunin din natin si D, U. Okay? Again, ay again and again, U po ang kasama ng 6 trigonometric function. Ito po ang ating x cube all over 2. Let's get the derivative of our U. Again, we are in quotient. Gagamit po tayong ng Lod he minus Hidlo all over Lolo. Lolo. Okay? So, 2 times the derivative of hi, which is 3x squared. 3x squared minus, okay, hi, x cubed times the derivative of low, 0. zero isulat. Kaya wag nang isulat. Ay, pwede isulat, ma'am. 0 all over <laughs> low, low. 4. Okay, let's continue. Natawa kami sa sarili namin doon. <laughs> 2 times 3. Canceled na to. Wala secret, na yan. Secret, secret natin yun. 2 times 3x squared magiging 6x X squared all over, over 4. four. Okay. At pwede po natin simplify yan as 3 both divisible by x two squared all over 2. two. They are both divisible by 2. two. So this is our du. du. 
by definition, the definition of the derivative of inverse of tangent is y prime. Y prime is equal to is equal to du all over one all over one plus plus u squared u is squared. Let's okay. substitute our du is three x squared all over two. Isn't it, ma'am? Yes. All over. We have. One. One. We have our imaginary denominator of. One. One. Plus u squared. Bakit ako naglagay ng denominator? Kasi ang u po natin ay. Fraction. Fraction. Para mas madali natin kunin. X. Cube. All over. Two. Isn't it, ma'am, Tintin? Yes. Ituturo ko po yung process. So, process. Isisimplify muna natin ito. So, we have now. This is equal. Equals, okay, copy, 3x squared all over 2 divided by, dito po tayo, LCD of 1 into is 2. 2, two divided by 2? 1. Two, 2 divided by 1? 2. two. Times 1? Two. 2. Plus, 2 divided by 2? 1. Times x cubed? X cubed. X cubed. Okay. Fraction divided by fraction, what will you do, ma'am? Cross multiply. Cross multiply or inside times, times inside, outside. Outside times outside. Okay. Multiply. So, we have now equal to 3x squared times, ano po yung times niya? 2. 2. All over. All over. 2 times 2, two plus x cubed. Cube. Okay. To simplify that one. 2 times 3x squared, ma'am, is obviously it. 6x, 6x squared. squared. Well, All over. Let's distribute. 2 times 2? 4. 4. Plus 2 times x cubed? 2x cubed. 2x cubed. Okay. This is the final answer. answer. Kung titignan nyo mga anak sa inyong activity sheets, ang kanyang final answer is 6x squared. Pareho pa kami. Pareho pa po kami sa 4. Pero sa kanya, x squared. Ang sa akin ay 2 x cube. Again, do not always rely on our activity sheets mga anak kasi nga, tao rin po ang gumawa niyan at saka may mga time na typo error sila. Isn't it ma'am Tintin? Yes. But the correct answer is 6x squared all over 4 plus 2x cube. Okay, fourth example, dumako naman tayo kay second. So we have y is equal to second or inverse of second 5x. Kunin natin ang u and c du. Our u is 5x and derivative of 5x is 5. Next, proceed with the definition. We have y prime is equal to derivative of u all over. u is square root of, baka hindi nagpo-focus, u squared minus 1. Next, substitute. We have y prime is equal to, ano yung du natin? Five. We have 5 all over. Our u is 5x square root of 5x. Take note, naka-squared po siya. Minus 1. Pwede pa bang isimplify? Ayan, next step since simplify. both divisible by 5 sila, simplify natin. Ayan, so pag dinivide mo 5 divided by 5 ay... 1. So, we have y prime is equal to ang nasa taas, may e1c. 1. One. 1. Since nag-divide ka dyan, 1 ang sagot, ano na lang isusulat natin? X. We have x. We have square root of, ano yung nasa loob? 5x squared minus 1. Actually, pwede pa yan irrationalize. Tama? Dahil, uh, dahil rational yung nasa baba. Radical. But since masyadong mahaba na yung proseso, tatanggapin na po namin ni Sir Jason yung ganitong Sorry. sagot. Let's now proceed on example number 5 to our example number 5. Y is equal to cosecant wow, negative 1 <laughs> times 2x cubed. <laughs> Again, let's get our u and of course our derivative of u. Our u again, ang kasama po ng ating uh, trigonometric function. We have 2x cubed and the derivative of that is 6x squared. By definition... Okay, cosecant or inverse of cosecant is equal negative to du. negative du all over, all over u, u. Yan. 
Okay, square root, square root of, of u squared u squared minus, minus 1. Okay, let's substitute. We have now negative. Our du is 6x squared. Isn't it, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. All over. Our u is 2x cubed. Yes. Tama po? Apo. Okay. Times u. Our u is 2x cubed. Squared. Squared minus 1. If you take a look... Both divisible by They're 2. They're both divisible by 2. Naiwang po ang ta sa taas ay divided by 2 magiging 3. Negative 3 all over x cubed divided by x squared. May iwan po yung x. Tama mong tintin? Yes. Nakasunod? Then, copy. Square root of 2x cubed squared minus 1. Again, we can always simplify that one using calculator pero tatanggapin na po namin ito ni Ma'am Tintin. Okay, let's proceed with our last example. Last example, we have y is equal to inverse of cotangent 6x u and du. Our u is 6x, derivative of 6x yeah. is 6. <laughs> six. Six. Ang hirap nga eh. Baka parang 7 yata yung sagot. Next, by definition, we have y prime is equal to negative du, negative derivative of u all over 1 plus u squared. 1 plus u squared. Ang galing mo naman sir, memorize mo. Kasi ma'am, 5 years na natin tinuturo yan. Alam nga naman, di pa natin memorize yan. <laughs> Next, substitute. Baka naman isipin nila, nandyan lang sa ating tabi yan. <laughs> hindi ko, bina nyo, hindi ko binabasa na. yan ha. Memorize ko talaga yan. Excuse me ha. Y prime <laughs> is equal to negative du is Six. So, negative 6 all over. <laughs> 1 plus 6x. Naka-squared yan. So, i-squared mo siya. Next, we have y prime is equal to negative 6 all over. 1 plus 6x squared is 36x squared. Final answer. answer. So, module 15, mga anak, again, kayang-kaya ninyo yan. Pagdating ng exam, dapat meron na kayong separate sheet, yes. lalo na sa mga ganito, para madali ninyong ma-identify ang mga And that's the use, ma'am, of the notebook. Kaya, di ba, sabi natin, ma'am, they should have your separate notebook on our topics. Yeah. Tapos, ma'am, di ba, uh, and bigyan na natin sila ng hint, ang inyong uh, major performance task 2 is purely compute. Yes. So, pagandaan natin yan mga anak. Again, good day. Galingan lagi. And for any questions regarding topic, mapa stem 002, mapa call 006. Nandito lang kami ni Ma'am Tintin lagi para Wag sa inyo. Science, no? Wag lang science. English. <laughs> English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye mga anak. And lagi nating tatandaan, tayong lahat ay hashtag matibay. matibay.